Here are your Court News Ohio top stories in five minutes. The Ohio Supreme Court has ruled that three statutes restricting red light cameras are unconstitutional. In a five to two judgment, the court reversed a prior decision by the Second District Court of Appeals that restricted how the city of Dayton used the cameras. They include requiring an officer to be present at each traffic camera, preventing a camera from ticketing a driver speeding at less than 10 miles per hour over the posted limit, except near schools and parks, where they can be set to photograph cars traveling six miles over the speed limit. And finally, requiring a safety study prior to cameras being installed. The Supreme Court's decision also affects other cities with red light cameras like Springfield and Toledo. As bagpipes played in Marietta, members of the Southeastern Ohio chapters of the Sons of the Revolution celebrated a full presentation of colors. They are honoring the 230th anniversary of the signing of the Northwest Ordinance. Often compared to the Constitution, the ordinance laid the groundwork for what would eventually become Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and part of Minnesota. I guess in some ways it's kind of a religious feeling when you honor people of previous generations. Supreme Court Justice Judith French was on hand to talk about its constitutional significance. When I look at the document, I find it very aspirational. It's very idealistic. There's one provision that essentially promises people who go to the Northwest Territory peace and prosperity. Marietta was the first permanent settlement in the United States. The Ordinance of 1787 was considered 80 years ahead of its time, outlawing slavery, but there was a catch. It still allowed for slaves to be returned. So it's imperfect, it's not perfect, but what an aspiration. In the main courtroom at the Thomas J. Moyer Ohio Judicial Center, you see a piece of history on the ceiling. You know, sitting on the bench down in our beautiful courtroom, when I look up at the murals on the ceiling, it's the five states that make up the Northwest Territory. It is 7.30 in the morning at the Columbus Convention Center, and law school graduates are anxious for day two of taking the Ohio bar exam. I'm very nervous, one. This is an extremely tough exam, too, and hopefully we just pass. I felt certain questions were fair, and I remember distinctly studying them, and I knew I had an answer for it. Other times, I remember them saying, this probably is not going to be tested, and sure enough, there it was on the test. The exam starts at 9 a.m., but don't ask anyone for the time. I don't know what time it is because we're not allowed to have cell phones or watches on us. In fact, proctors let graduates bring very few items into the room. A pen, a water bottle, any needed prescription medication, that's pretty much it. Yesterday, um, essays didn't end until 5.30, so um, I just went home, sort of watched some TV, relaxed. At this point, I don't think that it's really beneficial to study because every time I look at something, I'm like, wait, did I forget that? So. But how hard can this test really be? Uh, yesterday, we had two 90-minute uh, MPT tests. What's an MPT test? It's where they give you all made-up law, all made-up facts, and you have to generate some kind of work product out of that. And a lot of these grads have a lot on their plate. I graduated and got married at the same exact time, and that probably wasn't the best decision I've ever made. But uh, I made it through, and um, everything's going pretty good so far. So It wasn't just young graduates at the exam. Well, yeah, it's hard being the old guy of the group. Um, you know, I was the old guy through law school, and now I'm the old guy here. Um, but, you know, honestly, it, it's, it's a diverse group of people. Nobody makes it through law school that's stupid or uninteresting. Many of those taking the test already have jobs lined up. I will be joining uh, Jones Day in Cleveland following the bar exam. I will be joining the Cuyahoga County Public Defender's Office. So with all the years, hours, and money spent on going to law school, are there any regrets? You're asking me like the worst possible time. Um, yeah, I think so. I think at the end of the day, what I really want to be is an attorney. Um, I like the idea of helping people and I like, I don't know, I like researching and I like reading. So I guess this is really the only chance that I, I had. Plus I don't like blood. So becoming a doctor was sort of out of the question. The results will be announced in October. That's a look at Court News Ohio's top stories. Visit courtnewsohio.gov for the latest headlines on Ohio's courts. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.